Golding, love me like you do. Hello, good morning. It's Paul and Emily at Isle of Wight Radio and we're live on Facebook this morning. So uh, hello to you. <laughs> We never know where they are. We just sort of wave randomly. Just waving at the cameras. Lauren joins us this morning. Hello. Hello. Nice right. to see you. I'm good. Thank you very much. Uh, can I just say that Lauren uh, bakes the best cake oh, ever? We've got our own Mary Berry. It's amazing. They're like the ones you get in the shop. They are. Proper do, cakes. Do you buy them? I don't buy them. A very, very that would good. Be I was slightly weird. yesterday and slightly offended by that. <laughs> I said, I said to Lauren yesterday, I said, "So, uh, how long does it take to bake one of these?" <laughs> Thinking she'd say, "Oh, you know, slaving hours. away for hours." She'd all oh, about about ten minutes to uh, do it, and then twenty minutes in the oven. So but there was ganache and everything. Mm, yes, I'm not even sure what that is. I don't know. Is it like I made is it, it and I don't know what it is? <laughs> is it actually pronounced Nash? Is it like is Dennis like... Minogue? <laughs> Dennis <laughs> yeah, exactly. dog that you called Ganasha for I your spent, entire childhood. I spent years calling Dennis the Menace dogs Ganasha because it was spe- spelt Ganasha. Uh, so you think it's a Ganasha? I th- Ganache. So, so I think that basically what you're doing is a Nash. A Nash. I a Nash. Nash. <laughs> yeah. Nash a lovely chocolate Nash. Yes, brilliant. <laughs> anyway, it is time to play headline or hearsay. Jamie won yesterday. Jamie won all last week. You sound surprised. To be fair, we are absolutely appalled with ourselves. I think someone else so was writing be. the clues last mm. week. So, how, how confident do you feel, Lauren? I think I've got it. Okay, I think, yeah. that's pretty confident. Let's do it. Let's play headline or hearsay. Got to say hello to Kirsty Ede uh, and Isabel uh, says morning. Uh, Elizabeth Hunt says good morning. So does David Reese and James Shoulder as well. So let's play. <laughs> Christmas decorations have been mocked because they look like a giant washing line with clothes hanging down. The £20,000 Christmas lights in Margate have added some colour and cheer to the town, but some say one particular set of lights resembles a washing line. The colourful string of lights that look like briefs, jumpers and vests have been strung across the main shopping street, prompting ridicule from locals. Briefs. Briefs, they were. (laughs) (laughs) Never understood that term. Surely they're pants, aren't they? There you go. There's pants on the washing line. Yeah. <laughs> um, is it are briefs just a posh term for pants? I don't know if there's a technical difference <laughs> between. I don't know. Do you just wear them for a short time? I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> no uh, idea. Um, so, so what do we think? Headline or hearsay? Oh, Facebook's not helping out really. Keith says headline. Um, <laughs> That's it. Uh, da- Dave David. says headline. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Taking novelty lights to a whole new level. Haley says hearsay though this morning. Um, I don't know. That's the sort of thing that, you know, you could imagine the Isle of Wight Council trying to do that and everybody, you know, having a little laugh. It would be funny if it was like Santa and the reindeers washing. What, what's the reindeers washing? Is it meant to look well, like? Well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Some earmuffs. Or yeah, something. exactly. Yeah. yeah. Is it meant to look like washing or is it meant to look like something else? I don't imagine it's meant to look like washing. That's not very Christmassy, is it? Hmm. Haley says hearsay. Elizabeth says hearsay. Brent says headline. Ishbel says hearsay. Oh, Trish said she'd love it to be a headline. Julie says uh, hearsay. It was in Wales, not Margate. Oh, Ooh, little clue from Julie. Has Julie been like trying to Google things or something? I hope Maybe. so. <laughs> I hope so. I think I might go with Julie on yeah. this one. Who do, do you trust more? <laughs> what, you or Julie? Ju- oh. uh, <laughs> hmm, I think we'll go I think we'll go with Julie. Is it hearsay? Shocker. It is hearsay. Yeah. Oh. So, 1-0 uh, to us. Let's get the next one on. <laughs> kittens who snuck under a car bonnet to take a nap next to the engine were discovered by a man after he'd driven for 30 kilometres. Unaware the animals were in his car, Mark Simper from Melbourne discovered the fluffy felines after he drove all the way to work. It wasn't until Mr Simper's friend Rick heard a noise that they found the kittens who were unharmed by the incident. So where were the kittens? They were under his bonnet. It gets quite hot under there. Yeah, but they like that, don't they? It's all warm and cosy. <laughs> Only so certain. Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying we should like bake the kilometres is quite a drive, isn't it? What's that? Twenty miles, something mm. like that, roughly. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
You should know these things. You do baking. <laughs> in kilometres. <laughs> One kitten at 20 kilometres. Yeah, equals 300 millilitres. <laughs> Uh, uh, Dave says headline. Haley says headline this morning. Keith says headline as well. Uh, he Julie says, says his says cat hearsay. does it. Keith it's, says his cat does it. That Aww. must be terrifying. This Marie happened. says it happened to her cat Treacle. Really? You see cats under cars, you know, sleeping because of the warmth. Yeah, the, on the tarmac and the. But so they, they climb up. How do you get into the bonnet though? Well, you can get. You can. Get, I mean, like, if it was a slug. But a cat's quite big, isn't it? Well, yeah, but they can get through very small spaces, and you can obviously. Can you get in from underneath? Yeah. Right. Okay. That's... Not not a mechanic, clearly. <laughs> That's one of the reasons. The cat's lifting up the. <laughs> I mean, I can't even open the bonnet on my own car. <laughs> <laughs> it takes me about five minutes to find right. the latch. Oh, well, like, hang on. It's down here somewhere. I'd, uh, I'm just pulling carpet <laughs> away. Uh, so, what are we going? Headline or hearsay? Uh, I think that could be a headline. We're going uh, headline. It is a headline. Oh. 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 Ah. Lauren's rubbish at this. Gonna, Jamie's going to be so mad. It's going to be a good week. Yeah, to be fair, <laughs> I don't think Jamie's going to care. No, to be no. fair. No. Let's do the final one. A mystery buyer has snapped up the world's most expensive painting. painting. Leonardo da Vinci's portrait of Christ went under the hammer for £342 million in New York. It's thought to date from around 1500 and is one of only about 16 of the artist's originals to exist. Alex Rotter from the auctioneer Christie's said they were thrilled. Mm, headline or hearsay? Uh, David Harry says headline. Uh, Dave Reese says headline. Sharon Radford says headline. Keith Oxlade says headline. Haley Newby says headline. Perhaps it's true. I, did, I have not heard about this one. And I'm often on Christie's website just doing my <laughs> Christmas shopping. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, I don't know. Kitty thinks it's headline as well. So we've got to go headline. He well, we? yeah, Facebook's pretty... Pretty unanimous, unanimous here. There. We're going headline for the clean sweep and to shame Lauren this morning. <laughs> it's a headline. Oh, hey. now I feel bad. Oh, no, the moment's passed. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lauren. Thank Are you, you back tomorrow? I'm back tomorrow. Well, hey! <laughs> we look oh, forward to that. I'm maybe sure you, could, you do. Maybe you could bake some cakes and show the internet your wares. Maybe you should have let me win, and I would have. <laughs> Oh, she's a feisty one. I think you need to thank your Facebook friends. <laughs> thank you, Facebook and need friends. To go and, I need to go and have a long, hard look at myself. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. She's worse than Jamie. I was going to say, this she's is great. Jamie's done yeah. this. Yeah. He's created this. It's the bad losing. <laughs> bad loser. Uh, quarter to eight, Isle of Wight Radio. Thank you very much, Lauren, if you're travelling on the island's roads. Emily has a travel update for us, plus your news headlines next. Uh, 